Hey everyone, it's Alvy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a fun review for y'all today. I just finished a new historical romance and it was a six star read. So I'm really excited to share it. I have um, been really busy reading other um, romance genres this month and with the whole um, season two of Bridgerton, I've really been craving an historical romance. And so I decided to just peruse my shelf and pick one at random. And I'm really glad I did. So I've had this on my shelf for maybe three or four months. My mom picked this up for me at Walmart. We were, you know, just shopping and she was showing me the romances. I was like, I really like that one. I love the yellow dress. You know, I kind of go by the covers. And I don't typically read the back of books. I really do go by covers. I find that sometimes the, the back of the book can spoil things for me and I really don't like to be um, spoiled with the story. I like to be surprised by anything. And this book was just wonderful. So they had so many wonderful tropes in this story. If you love friends to lovers, pick this one up. It is so good. And there was a new trope. I'm not quite sure how I want to word it. I'm going to go with heroin in disguise because um, I absolutely love that trope. I had, I've read a few before, but I really like this trope. And so my interpretation of heroin in disguise is a heroine that has to either pretend to be, uh, well, to, 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 eh, to pretend to be someone else for um, her life or for her safety. So in this novel, we have our heroine, Ophelia, Ophelia Hardwick. And for the past 12-ish years, she has been living as a man. She has disguised herself as her brother, Adam. And so we find out in the story that she assumed her brother's identity after an accident that caused her brother's death, death, no, death. And she had to sort of restart her life as her brother. So she's lived her life as a man for about 12 years and she now has a new employer, Calvin, who is the Earl of Carlisle. And, you know, definitely um, friends, Adam is basically not really a manservant, but like personal assistant to Calvin. He lovingly calls, uh, Calvin lovingly calls Adam puppy because he just sort of follows him around like a puppy does and, you know, just loves the attention and love that Calvin gives him. And Calvin is in a lot of distress this season because it is his younger sister's um, opening season. And she's, she hasn't been declared like the diamond of the first water, but she basically is. And so uh, lots of fun inter intertwining stories, but the main uh, focus is on the romance between Ophelia and Calvin who goes by Cal and Ophelia goes by Fee but oh my goodness just love the romance um it was very spicy but not to the point where it was like a deterrent I think for some people but just really really passionate really loving um I just absolutely loved our hero Cal I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call him a cinnamon roll hero but he was pretty darn close. He was just so loving and passionate. I actually marked a passage in the story and here it is. So in this is about in the middle of the story on page 253 if you have the book as well. Um, this is Ophelia talking about Calvin and it says maybe this wanting to publish, publicly claim him was a natural side effect of suppressing herself for all these years. A couple of weeks of being allowed free reign, and now her femininity felt a bit feral, out of control, prowling under her skin, demanding an escape from the guise of her brother's persona. Thank goodness. Just, if that was like an inkling into what the story is with the passion and that sort of tabooness and duality of Ophelia being caught in a lie, sort of living as her brother for her safety and for a potential inheritance from her sort of wicked uncle. Wow, I just, I love this story. This might be sort of a short review because it was a six star read. So I mean, absolutely loved it and I don't want to spoil too many things for uh, future readers, but this is West and Earl by Bethany Bennett 
um, love the story. This is book two in the Misfits of Mayfair's Mayfair novel. My goodness, I cannot speak today. I'm so sorry. And I believe book one is Any Rogue Will Do, which is here. And then sometime this summer, we're going to have All Rogues Lead to London. Love the cute, cute titles. But, um, so this is book two. You don't need to read um, the books in order, I would say. This, I, I didn't read the first one. I just, you know, picked this up at random at Walmart and absolutely loved it. And I definitely plan to read book one. I believe um, Ethan and Lottie, I guess her name would be Charlotte. I'm assuming they are the couple from book one. And I mean, they're, you know, married and happy in the, in the book, but it's not like I'm being spoiled or I'm not having the first book spoiled for me. So I'm excited to see how their romance um, blossoms. So I definitely want to pick out the first, pick up, oh my goodness, the first book. And I'll be looking out for the third book, which I guess, I guess summer would be considered maybe May or June. So hopefully soon, because I really like this story. Um, yeah, I love the whole concept of her being in disguise. Um, for, for a while, I was getting confused thinking that um, Viola or Ophelia, Ophelia was the name of the um, lead in Twelfth Night by Shakespeare, but it's actually Viola. And if you've seen um, other stories that do that same sort of trope, like the modern interpretation of Twelfth Night is She's the Man with Amanda Bynes, and I believe it's... Um, Magic Mike, Chan Channing Tatum, was that like his first movie? That's a great one. And then of course, Shakespeare in Love with uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and not Ray Fiennes, Gregory Fiennes, his younger brother. Can't think of his name. But that is the same um, idea. And her name is actually Viola in um, Shakespeare in Love where she's disguised uh, as a man so she can, I believe so she can perform, um, perform as an actor. I can't remember the full movie, I haven't seen it in a long time. But I really do like that trope. And I actually have a few other books I've read within a year or so that have um, other heroines in disguise. And I'm thinking about doing that for a, a trope video and a trope recommendation. If that's something y'all want to see, let me know. I sort of want to do it anyway. <laughs> but let me know if you want me to post it earlier rather than later. Um, yet again, love this story. Just really super romantic. Um, I think if I shared another passage, it would sort of spoil the story um let me look it's i think on page 358 or 350 something it was um cal's point of view and, oh just just so romantic i like again i'm not quite sure that he's a cinnamon roll hero but he is a very passionate passionate man and another interesting thing while reading this book was it talked about uh, French letters, which were condoms of the time, and I kind of did like a, <laughs> a search of like condoms from the era, and some of them are crazy. I mean, made from like small intestines and like uh, animal skin, and uh, a lot of them were <laughs> reusable. No wonder like venereal disease and stuff was rampant during the time. I mean, ooh, you know. <laughs> I feel like though, reusable condoms might make a comeback because of the whole like green I wouldn't be surprised if I saw them for like $35 at Whole Foods <laughs> you know they'd be like gluten free organic uh, vegan condoms $35 you make them like a light green they are reusable but they also can break down and make a flower or something <laughs> you know I could totally see those I like a Whole Foods um, absolutely loved the story oh my goodness I feel like I'm just sort of rambling, but wonderful. Pick up West and Earl if you're looking for a lovely historical romance that's super, super romantic, super passionate, has some intrigue, has some, a lot of humor. I was kind of surprised. There was a good bit of humor that I really enjoyed in the story, but oh, just pick it up. It's West and Earl by Bethany Bennett. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as comment on this video. You can also follow me at I'll Be Reading Romance on TikTok as well as Instagram. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone.